So after the Revolutionary War, they signed the Constitution. No, after the Revolutionary War there was a thing called the Articles of Confederation. The Articles gave the 13 states basically total freedom, to do what they wanted, more or less. Awesome. Except no I remember this from school there was no army and there was no way you could stop the British from underselling you on iron or something because Connecticut or whoever would not have a tariff and people could buy iron from Connecticut. People liked to have iron I guess. It wasn't perfect. There was no huge army to come save you from attack. At the same time, at least you couldn't be drafted to go fight people you yourself had no quarrel with. It was a lot of give and take like that stuff with trade complications among states with 13 different types of policies. It was messy but people prospered. So why didn't it last? Did everyone have too much freedom and become big perverts or something, or did they have really high taxes? There were no taxes actually, and even better the government couldn't print money. This meant you got to keep everything you earned, and they couldn't dilute the money to make what you earn by less, which is what they do now when they quote unquote lower interest rates. Isn't that the type of thing they fought to have? What happened? It fell apart for a lot of reasons, it was relatively messy for sure, but the main reason was the elites, many of whom had brought about the American Revolution with designs on land speculating, felt more money could be made if they embraced the idea of the state. Well if it makes everyone more money then I guess that's a good motivation. It made certain people more money, but mainly at the expense of others it wasn't done out of concern for Americans. The Constitution was supposed to just be tuning up the articles, but it got hijacked into this thing we have now. So. Do we like the Constitution? Or not? It's not horrible, but in general it was put together by lawyers, elites, and bankers. It's not really of the people, and by the people as we think of it. You mean it was written by? The Illuminati. So when people say they want to return to the rugged individualism of the Constitution, they should really say the rugged individualism of the Articles of Confederation. Yes, 